What's going on everybody? So today I want to talk about the level 75 level cap increase because it's been about that eight day mark. So we have level 76, but with level 75, there's a lot of new things that come about. And I just want to give you some quick advice or some quick guidance here to kind of keep track of what we have to do and some miscellaneous tips. Let's get into it. All right, so the first thing is you're going to want to level up your weapons. Level 75 has increased our level cap to 150, um, which means that if you have been saving up your resources or at least pre-farming a lot of your resources like your nano fibers, uh, your nano coating, your booster frames, or if you've been doing like me where you just run in and do your dimensional trials every day to make it nice and easy, you'll have a ton of boxes available for you. So you guys can go ahead and claim all of that and start upgrading your weapons. I should be able to bring at least my main core three up. Um, I'm gonna have about five total to bring up. I should be able to do all of it. And this also means that uh, upcoming, you're going to be using a majority of your resources. So you do have to plan accordingly. Uh, and I might have a video on this later on talking about planning for level 160. So you can get that as soon as it comes with level 80. Now, along with weapon leveling, you're actually going to get a boost in matrix level as well. With level 75, you're going to be able to boost these uh, matrices up to level 75. And we can see here, it's actually going to require a lot of matrix data, or matrix data chips. So make sure you've been farming those from the events and such. Um, I find myself that I run out a lot of these a lot of the time because I'm leveling them up so much and I don't like to swap matrices. This could use a whole dedicated video on its own, to be honest. I really wish they have the ability to swap matrices, new matrix sets, uh, kind of like how they have backpack sets or gear sets. But regardless, level these up. It's gonna give you a nice combat score boost, a nice power boost, and overall give you a lot more power along with your weapons. This is a massive one. And honestly, I don't think I'm gonna be able to level most of them. Level or SR matrices rather actually have a level cap at 70. So this is where you're gonna really start to see SSR matrices just shoot far and above uh, in terms of power compared to SR matrices, even if you have these guys advanced because these guys cannot go to level 75. So just something to think about when you are leveling up your matrices. Definitely wanna level up your weapons. This is gonna be a major power boost for you. Uh, and that's gonna be the first thing you unlock at level 75. You're going to want to do this before you do anything after this because it'll help you do that other stuff <laughs> that I'm gonna talk about. The second thing is we have a new wormhole. Now this is very, very controversial and I'll talk about this one because it's pretty funny, uh, but the new wormhole is at the end here. Um, it's gonna be a normal one. It's got an interesting elemental, I guess, bonus or rather elemental resistance because on normal you're going to have random resistances across all the stages it's going to change and i'll pull up a list here um i'll leave this in the description down below but basically someone has gone ahead and it looks like basically charted all of the different elemental resistances um on you know normal hard and challenge and i'll drop this in the description down below so you can check this out if you're curious but basically you're going to need uh a three comp team right for example if you have um let's just say flame frost right you're going to have a team that's going to be completely resistant or on hard it's going to be just immune to damage which means that you need three elements at least and then if you want to do challenge mode you're going to need all four elements because they are immune to three different types of elements, which means, as I mentioned in my previous video, I'm going for Saki because I want a third element and I highly suggest you guys start to plan out for it because there might be future content where you just have immune um, or it's very tough to use all three types of elements. So you need that fourth element. So I'm gonna start building that up now. But regardless, you're gonna have this wormhole. Uh, on normal mode, it's gonna be relatively easy. It's just gonna be a resistance. If you happen to have a stage where it's resistant to both your weapons, for example, for me, it'll be Volt Flame. I'll just have to push through it because, well, that just is what it is. I have Volt Flame weapons. Not too crazy, uh, so definitely something to think about. I've heard that you don't get free boxes from this. I've not tried it. I hate wormhole uh, because it takes like an hour of my time. I actually enjoy the mechanic. It's just a lot of grinding and killing the same monsters over and over again. Uh, but you know, hey, fun game mode, but uh, definitely try this. I don't think you get free boxes. You have to pay for the boxes and I'm not paying for the boxes when we have Saki and Lin coming up. So wormhole, that's the second thing here. 
Then we also have new joint operation. So new joint operation, these are gonna be super exciting. Uh, from what I remember, these are going to be the exact same drop rate as the previous ones. The big difference here on these new joint operations is you can specifically target certain elements for your gear. For example, I'm going to be targeting this side. Uh, why? Well, because I have flame weapons and I have frost weapons. If I wanted bolt weapons, I can go over here and or bolt armor. This is basically going to target certain elements and give you a higher chance for bolt attack uh, and flame attack and frost attack, etc., etc. The only downside of this, and this is actually a big downside because it has the same drop rate, there's actually some major, major argument to just farm the standard joint operation aids because they give you specified gear pieces. So if you're someone that's looking for crit rate still like myself, and actually might just be better to farm your gloves and boots. Uh, but on top of that, these give you random matrices. So that is something to think about. These will target certain matrices as well. So for example, if you're trying to find gloves, well, you're gonna get a king matrix and a crow matrix, which are arguably some of the best matrices in the game, um, as well as your gloves, which is actually a very, very potent combination and arguably could be the best joint operation in the game to run. Uh, so something to think about. So joint operations are going to be the other thing. When we get to level 80, we're going to unlock the, the level 81. And then you have a much stronger argument to farm this one because the drop rates will be slightly better. So joint operation, that's going to be the next one. Now, this next one uh, I want to talk about is, isn't necessarily specifically for level 75, but it is something that I think a lot of people are missing. Um, and where is it? That's going to be the raids. I've done the heroic raids. This is something that people I didn't even know, um, to be honest. I knew that the heroic raids were in the game. But I didn't know where, and I found out about it a little bit later. Um, you have to go hit this heroic tab to get the heroic rewards, and you can only do these two. As of right now, the next heroic raid is going to be level 77, so you cannot do this. Uh, you could do one, two heroic raids, and then I ended up doing uh, the normal raid for the battle test area. So make sure you're doing that as well. Just a very, very simple you know, update on the heroic raids. But overall, that's pretty much it for level 75. There's a couple miscellaneous tips that I want to recommend here at the end of the video. First one is, if you are level 75, you can go ahead and cash in on your new Mighty Mushroom. Boom, extra endurance, so be sure to do that. You only get this if you have been doing your achievement stuff. And if you're like me and you're not like super try hard on the achievements, I'm trying to push a little bit further just because I think it's a little bit fun, actually. I think this is the most fun part about the game is achievement hunting, uh, to be honest. And I think that's pretty much consistent with every game I play. <laughs> I just like achievement hunting. Um, but regardless, if you're at 2600, you're going to have enough Mighty Mushrooms to be fully capped out at the current moment. The next one you're gonna be able to cash in on is at level 80. Um, and it looks like that's gonna be the last one at least for a very, very long time. Uh, so make sure you cash in on that mushroom. And of course, make sure you're preparing for level 80, uh, gray space and joint operations. All of that's going to be get easier now because we are level 76. Uh, so just keep that in mind when you're doing all this type of content. So that's gonna be pretty much it. Uh, if you guys did enjoy, be sure to like the video, sub to the channel. I do wanna mention really quickly here that Overall, you're going to get a lot stronger with the matrix leveling, level weapon, uh, or weapon leveling rather, and you're, the whole game isn't really going to get harder. A lot of the content stays the same difficulty until we actually reach past level 76. But for right now, we're actually getting a huge burst of power for what we're doing in the game, which is going to be a really, really fun and exciting experience because we're basically going to be overtuned in a sense. But thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow.